Hello. All right. Uh, this is an example for uh, by using the formula for sum to infinite geometric series. All right. The use of the formula. So let's say you have uh, this series, this geometric series. Uh, so you see that the dot 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 here means they are continue, right? So you keep adding and continue. So if you see here, you have uh, if this is your first term. So your first term will be 18 and your common ratio. You see that the number getting smaller and smaller, right? Uh, if the number getting and bigger and bigger, uh, I remind you again, if the number is getting bigger and bigger, there are no sum to infinity. It won't happen, okay? Uh, because it's keep adding and one day you will give a number very big, okay? Uh, very big. So, or very small, very, very small, like, like, like very large negative number, all right? So, uh, 18. So you will have uh, your common ratio is you take negative 6 divided by 18, right? Uh, so negative 6 by 18, so you have negative, uh, negative 1 over 3, right? Negative 1 over 3. 2 over 6, negative 6 is also negative 1 over 3, the same thing. So now uh, you see your ratio, your common ratio. The common ratio is between 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 over 3 is in the range, right? Uh, it's in the range. Is in the range or you can just see that the series the number getting smaller and smaller there must be a sum to infinity okay don't apply the formula blindly just by or if the question asks you the sum to infinity then you find the just find you without knowing the meaning uh, this is not the way you learn maths all right uh, so sum to infinity the, uh, the formula is a over 1 minus r so why we can apply this formula because the common ratio is in this range it will happen they will have a value if you skip some all right if you keep some they were getting a value so how is it the value of a is 18 so 1 minus r your r is negative 1 over 3 right negative 1 over 3 so you have 18 divided by 1 plus 1 over 3 right uh, so you will get 4 over 3 all right 18 divided by 4 over 3 okay you can just multiply 3 or you're using calculator Multiply 3, you can cancel out, right? Cancel out. So you have 18 times 3. 18 times 3 over 4. So what is the value, right? Uh, so you take 18 over. You have 27 over. Uh, so you have 27 over uh, 2, right? So this is the value. So if you if you if you if you interested if you have plenty of time you 80 minus 6 plus 2 then you multiply by uh, negative 1 over 3 you have 2 over 3 right uh, you have uh, negative 2 over 3 if you keep multiply again uh, by negative 1 over 3 your common ratio you have positive uh, 2 over 9 you keep multiply and you add add plus minus plus 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 minus so Eventually, one day, uh, hope you're not getting old, okay? So you, one day, you will reach this value. Uh, it won't change. Uh, they will converge. So this one also the same. Why? You see the number getting smaller. 1 and 104. This one is smaller, right? So what is the uh, first term? A is 1. So your common ratio is negative 1 over 4 divided by 1, the first term. So you have negative 1 over 4, right? So yes, they have sum to infinity. Sum to infinity exists. Why? Because this value is between r and between 1 and negative 1. It's between there. So the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r, right? a over 1 minus r. So 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4. You have 5 over 4. So you multiply 4, so you will have 4 over 5. Ah, if you keep adding, you will get this value, 0 0.8. Alright, uh, this is the way you apply the formula for sum to infinity.